to this edition of for the clarity and closure of the viewers comments in this video I will be looking at some of your comments that you've left on my videos now they could be questions they could be statements they could be criticisms and of course there can be trolling going on as well but I will be giving my kuleana to your missives in this video remember I don't take anything personal and it's a good idea if you perhaps would do the same because with correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar it's critical to maintain the balance of the honor grace peace neutrality and rule one rule equal so without any further ado let's get to it the first comment I'm going to look at uh, comes from someone named Colin David Lee and this was a comment on one of the reaction videos I did regarding uh, colon mark hyphen lowercase k to shown colon Christopher and uh, so when David Lee says he he means mark lowercase k to shown he says in his videos that you offer them knowledge on how to learn correct sentence structure performance and they don't want to know about it okay so what he's talking about here again he is mark lowercase k Kishon. you I'm sure he doesn't mean me I think he just means you in a general sense like the public or whatever and offer them them I can guess that he means the fiction system uh, the fiction you know other contract parties contracting in plain English adverb verb adjective pronoun fiction babble uh, that's my best guess is what David means by this and that they meaning the fiction system don't want to know about it now let's take that in again he says in his videos that you offer them knowledge on how to learn the correct grammar performance and they don't want to know about it so this sounds to me like David Lee is just taking Mark's word for it but David Lee has never done anything like that himself first of all second of all I would have to reasonably guess that David doesn't know correct sentence structure doesn't have closure on the grammar probably doesn't know the first thing about it because I know that Mark definitely doesn't know uh, well I know that he definitely doesn't have closure on it. I don't know where his knowledge level is, but I know that he doesn't have closure on it. And so it would stand to reason that this individual here, David Lee, does, also doesn't have closure on it. So he's just basically taking Mark's word for it. Because how would one be able to certify a claim like that? So David's just taking Mark's word that, oh, I tell the fiction system about correct sentence structure, but they don't want to know about it really okay well that may be or it may not be either way there's no evidence to support to support the claim and he goes on to say I like when he yellies he has lots heart and passion and I like mark thank you and love well that's wonderful that you like mark I personally don't uh, not only because of some personal interactions I've had with him I mean I've known of the guy and been in contact with the guy since 2017 and I know of some very nefarious and malicious things that the guy has done and he's just outright lied and also slandered me personally in public so I mean but if you want to like an individual like that David if you want to like someone who's with the voids of uh you know, from my perception, honor, grace, peace, neutrality, and rule one, rule equal. That's entirely up to you. It's your choice. Thank you for the comment. Next comment comes from Pure Therapy. How relevant is the maritime law language that Jordan Maxwell talked about to quantum grammar? 
Well, in the sense that we all navigate through a sea of space and that the fiction court systems from my comprehension fall under maritime jurisdiction. Uh, there are, you know, a lot of things that uh, definitely correlate with that language. With, uh, what did he say? Yeah, maritime law language that correlate to quantum grammar and can be used in conveying your claims. From the flag protocols to the fee for freight to the shipping mechanics, the shipping terms, the maritime shipping terms, uh, you know, vessels, bills of the lading, transshipment, um, all, all those different shipping terms. Starboard side, port side, red light, green light, fore, aft, rum lines, you know, sea lanes. Uh, it's, it's all definitely a part of it and can be used and is used. I use it myself in correct sentence structures. So what one would do pure therapy is take those terms that one finds uh, of value to one's correct sentence structure construct and bring them over to your dictionary and give closure to them using the tools of and mechanics of parse which i teach in my parse playlist so that you can create your own closure your own finite mean for each of those terms that you choose to use in your contracts uh, from the maritime language I hope that helps. Next comment comes from Brandon Sawal. Jason, have you gone through Black's Law Dictionary and gone through all words that begin and end with a consonant? Uh, no, Brandon, I have not. I have no practical reason to do that. Those, uh, the Black's Law Dictionary does not, is not really applicable to what I do. Uh, the Black's Law Dictionary is fiction complete fiction and it has to do with a, a specific venue meaning the the fiction foreign vessel and dry dock courts the court system which is not anything that i deal with don't uh, participate with the fiction system um correct sentence structure has enabled me to uh, vacate that venue and keep that venue at bay and stop the trespass so that's the long answer. The short answer is no. Next comment comes from Ruby G. Edwards. Uh, no doubt. In my view, the only time which determines my existence in life is now. For every past inhalation or exhalation no longer exists. Similarly, every future inhalation or exhalation does not yet exist. For this reason, I believe life only exists in this very breath I am taking and giving this very moment. When one misses either the inhalation or exhalation of breath in an instant, one's life ceases to exist. One's life... Uh, thanks for sharing your source reference. Oh, well, that's a very thoughtful comment. Thank you. And it just wouldn't be a comments video without a Russell J. Gould worshiper showing up at the door. This one comes from of the Tiffany hyphen Sherry with the wage man. Again, ladies and gentlemen, regular viewers of my channel, need I point out the mistake in her name, the full colon space Tiffany, which is not correct sentence structure, which lets me know that this individual has absolutely no closure on correct sentence structure. So they put their comment in brackets, and this is what they say. For this not authorized teacher, either through our chief. What in Sam's hell does that mean? for this not authorized teacher either through our chief well uh who's our chief i don't have a chief so she must be talking about some little secret little club that she has that she's a part of when she says our 
that I don't uh, participate with titles because that violates rule one, rule equal on the geometric level playing field of contract. I mean, if someone like her who doesn't have closure on the grammar wants to participate with uh, authoritarianism and wants to bow down and, you know, kiss the ass of her whatever chief, that's fine. That's her choice. Uh, but I don't do that, so... And I really don't know what that sentence says. Please be careful who you learn from that he is not the list. He is not the list. I really don't know anyone who is the list. What does that mean? He is not the list. Well, I could definitely see how someone such as herself uh, would not have closure on quantum grammar because first you have to have closure on plain simple basic English and be able to convey your thoughts and articulate your meanings clearly using simple English before you can move on to the tougher stuff like quantum grammar so I would highly recommend that uh, that uh, she uh, get some fiction English lessons and learn how to speak and articulate her thoughts uh, thoroughly and clearly before she moves on to the correct sentence structure. Thanks for the comment. And the final comment comes from member Brian. Thank you, Brian. And he says, I think anything is possible. Oh, okay. So he's talking about where I made the post about whether I could do a correct sentence structure talk show without having the drama creep into it. And he says, I think anything is possible. I humbly think the grammar itself is boring. As I mentioned in my comment, uh, my answer to you, Brian, uh, boring is a choice. For me, there is no such thing as boring. I don't participate with that word. Uh, when, when I hear someone say something is boring, that tells me that that individual perhaps has a sense of entitlement that they have a right to be entertained. And uh, if something is boring, then whatever that thing is should be more entertaining. <laughs> I teach my children that uh, boring is just another word for laziness. It is what one can do with the grammar that's fascinating. Seems like anyone I speak to about the grammar wants to know why learn this what does this do for me see again the sense of entitlement where if you find the grammar boring and you want to know what it can do for you who is the president that said ask not what your country can do for you but what you can do for your country was that kennedy it's kind of the same thing i mean why should the grammar do anything for you it's just a technology, it's just a tool. Uh, they have no one trespassing, why learn this? Well, if you don't have a reason to learn it, Brian, then what's, I, I agree, 100%, what's the point? Why bother? Why, I mean, most people have a reason to learn it. Like they're in a situation that they need help and this grammar, for whatever reason, resonates with them and like it did for me in 2017 and has really been a blessing to me you know for the last five years i've won all my cases and i've been become a teacher of it and for those that are serious about it and want to learn it they learn it and they do their own uh postal courts and succeed in their cases some of them even walk into foreign vessels and dry dock um for sure but you definitely have to have a reason to learn it brian because if you don't, then of course you're not really ever going to have closure on it. You're always going to have that what if. It's sort of like reading and studying all these books for years on how to swim, but you never stick your toe in the water. Until you stick your toe in the water, you're never going to know. So it's you're always going to be wondering, right? And people don't ask, well, what can the water do for me? <laughs> Sadly, I would say no drama, no views. I agree, Brian. I definitely agree on that. It seems that drama does bring views. 
Let's see some court cases. One. That's why I have correct sentence structure in my life. Legal issues. The grammar itself is boring. Again with the boring. Well, boring is a choice, Brian. That's for sure. Why would someone listen to the this? Why would someone listen to the this? What could I tell an average Joe that would make him want to listen? I don't know. If they're interested in learning a grammar technology, I guess. How is this going to help him? I have tried. No interest. Thanks for your time. I value it. And I value your membership and your comment, Brian. Uh, you have brought up some points. Most people that want to learn this do have issues and do have a reason to learn it. If you don't have a reason to learn it, then there really is no point. I mean, it's... See, I, I'm in a different place than most people. I'm not trying to sell something. That's not what this is about. And this is something that I've sort of wrestled with. Because that's why I put all my knowledge online for free for those that want to learn it. Because it's for free. You can learn it right here on this channel if you want to. If you want me as a guide, of course, then we would schedule a consultation. And then we, I'd write up a contract. And then we would I'd teach you in the confidential with a very specific curriculum uh, and teach you the grammar. But you have to have a reason to learn it, right? And if you don't, then you're, you're always going to have that question in the back of your head. And you also have to have dedication and motivation to learn it, for sure, Brian. I mean, you have to stick with it uh, every single day, be consistent with it, develop a schedule, be on time, and as you do that, you will build up a base. It's sort of like working out, you know. If you work out sporadically once or twice, you know, a week, you know, one day on, three days off, one day on, one day off, and you're sporadic with it, you're not really going to see results. You have to have a schedule and be consistent with it and be methodical and, and regimented, really. Because if you don't, then you're just forever going to be spinning around in what-ifs and devil's advocate type of scenarios that aren't really going to get you anywhere near the closure that you say you want, but aren't really doing anything to achieve. Anything tangible, anyways. All right. Thanks for the very thoughtful comment, Brian. I appreciate that. And I also value uh, your time, even if it does need this. Thanks for watching, everybody. As always, if you want to learn the grammar, you can contact me at the email address at the bottom of your screen to apply for a workshop, or you can study the over 400 videos on this channel. You can also become a member here, such as Brian. Uh, there are two tiers. You can hit the join back button and uh, find out all about that stuff if you choose. If not, thank you for your viewership, and I'll see you next time.